as humans, we have heart coherence. So where we're not able to think up in the thought yet, because it hasn't been actualized, which is where thought starts, right? But we have that heart coherence. So we can sync up our heart coherence and say, I have this feeling. Now, we haven't ever done this yet, but can you feel my vibe? Can you get on this wave with me, this wave of creation and potentiality and leave nothing off the table? Get fear out of the zone, fear of failure, fear of limitation. And let's explore what's possible if all of that's gone. And let's build each other up in that container because what you believe is possible and what I believe is possible could be two totally different containers. But by joining that together, now our container just got so much bigger because we are in this realm, right? We're in this experience. And whether I like it or not, I can say I believe in infinite potentiality, but that infinite potentiality is based on my experience here. Your infinite potentiality is based on your experience here because we haven't experienced anything different, right? And so by linking all of that together through heart coherence and that in-between stage, we've just expanded our innovative potential. And so heart storming is that linking together of infinite potential based on what each of us have as our perception of infinite potential. And to me, it's like every time we do it, we don't come to the tables individuals with thoughts of brainstorming and just dumping ideas as I'm like dumping, <laughs> <laughs> dumping actions. Um, we don't come with it that way. Like I have all these ideas. Let me just dump every thought in my head out. We come from this heart centered, let's be purposeful in every connection and create this together. Yeah. Does I that make that. sense? Absolutely. I'm passionate does. about this. If you can't tell, <laughs> this is important. It is. Yeah. And I appreciate you utilizing your, Masters in quantum science, tech, you know, a terminology to really explain uh, it, this the capacity of heart storming uh, just at a deeper level. So thank you for that. Those are a lot of terms that uh, you know don't often get used in this type of way, and so I, I just appreciate it. Uh, well, thank you. And yeah, it is exciting because, like for us with Suivera, we're doing something you know, in some ways that has been done before, but in other ways has never been done before. Right. And, and there's, a, it's not like we're the only organization, you know, in that experience. And so I know one of the struggles in the very beginning was for us was, uh, even, you know, whether it was naming it, naming the organization or saying, well, how do we want to lay the foundation? How do we want to do the creed? You know, all these aspects. And that's kind of where this whole, heart storming concept really brought forward because we said, Hey, we don't, what's, what's been done before has worked in some ways, but has really hurt it, hurt humanity in a lot of ways. Right. Yeah. And so if we want to create something new, we don't want to use energy that's, that's been used to hurt people. We want to use energy that is new and evolved and heart centered, heart focused and love focus, connected, unity, oneness, all the things that a lot of these different faiths, philosophies, ideologies throughout human history, you know, there is a common thread as, as we've talked about. And love. So, love. Yes. Love. <laughs> so how do we start to do, how do we take the best of what's been done and meld it with uh, what's next in the human evolution, that which hasn't been done yet? And so heart storming is a great practice and almost a meditation in some way to uh, to activate that. Ah.